All right, so the underlying energy is Ten of Pentacles. Only that is the Six of Wands. Commitment, stability, relationships. Oh my goodness, and the Six of Wands. And that's talking about feeling <laughs> being recognized. Mm, but um, Six of Wands, going in the right direction, doing everything right, you know, just doing the best that you can with what you got. Then boom, we got another situation, another reading that really uh, talks about relationships. I know what you guys are thinking. Heck no. Please, somebody, somebody, no. Somebody stop this stuff. Some of you guys are like cheering for this. I can see it. Some of you guys are ready, ready to go, ready. But the thing is, right? I'm reading for the ones that don't really feel like they're ready or they don't feel prepared for this or they're not really wanting to do it. Because let's be honest here, right? I think there's a lot of, a lot of you guys that are really good at um everything <laughs> okay but not in the sense of like listen, listen to me listen to me like listen good at everything not needing anyone you know this kind of soloing it knowing you don't need nobody but it's not about the fact that you need someone to be in a relationship why do you need someone to be in a relationship with why can't you just love them and i think that's the thing right you guys always you guys are the reason why valence day is in your season unconditional love you don't need nobody you don't need anything from anyone to love them and the the situation just going to straight out say it has a lot to do with moving on leaving something behind and going and traveling to newer waters to fresher waters you know letting bygones be bygones passing through releasing kind of in a way but letting go like letting go of the old and embracing the new but in order for you to embrace the new you got to have confidence that you'll be able to handle the new i feel like for a lot of you guys you're feeling unprepared or you're feeling like you're not necessarily ready for this so you don't know if you really want this some of you guys may have and you know accidentally manifest this again you know somebody may have accidentally manifested into your life you know that's conjuring you know what i'm saying but I, actually conjuring is purposely actually manifesting someone into your life i think you guys were accidentally manifesting love into your life because you guys are love you radiate in this this love energy and then boom you got somebody coming in a soulmate but some of you guys you know this may not be an accidental manifestation some of you guys just may not just be ready for what's coming in like you're leaving something behind you're ready to let stuff go but when it comes to something new coming and you're like um huh like that like you just like you want to you don't want to let the past to dictate you you're done with that you're done with the past you don't want to like you're just done with it i can see that six of swords and how I'm get, the feeling I'm getting from that is like, yeah, you're moving on. You're done with that. But the future, you don't know if you want that either, though. Like, you're good with where you are because of the Three of Cups. Like, the Three of Cups means, you know, reminds me of friendships, being close together with people. This is your inner group. Some of you guys, this is, you know, meeting new people, enjoying your life, celebrating where you guys have come from. You got the Six of Wands there. Six of Wands, Three of Cups, that's a celebration right there. And you're just enjoying where you've been, where you are. You know, you're not really looking at the future. You're not looking at the past. You're just in the moment with the people that are, that you, you know, you're surrounded by and enjoying that community. Well, then you have the Six of Cups coming in here. This is the past. This is just a soulmate connection. And the reason why I say so many connections because look who's in the past here, the King of Cups. Now, for some of you guys, you may be the person here that we're talking about. You may be the King of Cups. You, why am I saying you guys are the King of Cups? Well, you know, kings are fixed signs. And Aquarius, you got a fixed sign coming up. I don't think this is a past lover, a past Scorpio lover. But some of you guys, this could be this is a past Scorpio lover for you guys. So, you know, for, for those of you that have it, a past ex Scorpio lover. But this is somebody that really felt a deep connection with. Someone you felt a very deep tie with. Somebody that probably, something, someone that maybe have transcended, you know, past relationships. This could be an ex that you're still in love with. Like you may have been moving on, you know, hanging out with friends and all that stuff. But the connection between you and this individual is still freaking tight. So strong. It's so hard to break. Some of you guys may have met someone and they're bringing up old memories of someone else. Right? And it's making it's bringing out this fudgy, sweet sort of energy from you guys that you know that you already have. You're you know you can be very sweet. Y'all choose to be cold, but the situation is this: like you like choose to be cold in the sense of they don't take it out of context, guys. You don't really like let your emotions rule you, like the King of Cups or or, or the King of Wands. You guys, you know, you you make those emotions your bitch. You know, you figure out why you feel the way you feel, and then you keep moving. You don't let those things keep. You know, you don't react 
based off of how you feel, you kind of, you're very calculated in a sense. Not calculated, but like you're in control of your emotions in that sense. So we all know how that works. But this is making you guys gushy. Almost like you're falling back in love with someone again. Like you're falling back in love again. This is somebody new that reminds you of someone old, which is why you got the Six of Swords here. Maybe this is a brand new individual. But because this energy is very similar to someone from the past, you're falling in love again. Or you're remembering what it's like to be in love. Or remembering what it's like, what it's like to be fudgy and soft in the inside. You know? Because perhaps you know you know you're just you know you're just being cool you're loving you're open you're all those things but this person in particular is bringing out a fuzzy soft side of you that you just kind of you know maybe you've moved on from or maybe you thought you moved on from or you were you're trying to leave behind the magician is talking about confidence and i don't know if necessarily the confidence is really the biggest thing but i kind of feel like it is some of you guys maybe just don't feel very confident in being in a relationship Maybe you guys just, you know, you're good and solid with friendships and all that. But when it comes to a relationship, this is an arena you're not really a special, you know, you're not specialized in. You know, you, there's a lot of learning and understanding that comes into, into progress with it. Some of you guys may not be prepared for that. Maybe you just don't know how to handle it. And that's okay. Look at the rest of the Zodiac. We probably, we practically can't handle much of anything. <laughs> We're learning everything of step by step. Relationships is the thing that you guys may have to learn how to do better. Not for the sake of other people. And, you know, not to say like, oh my god, we got to one up on you. Because the rest of the world doesn't know how to handle relationships either. I'm a voucher for that. I'm a Venus Archangel Tarot. Love to help people out with relationships. But hey, we all have relationship problems once in a while. But the point of it all is, is that this is about your next opportunity to experiment to learn to explore you know to, to tap into an area that is different but the only thing that makes this kind of apprehensive is because your emotions are going to be involved in this it's easy to look at something else to kind of improve something else in your life but when this is this is a different ball game this is a different arena and this is like oh so it makes sense you kind of i can sense the apprehension of like i don't know if i could do this because this is something that you're not exactly sure you're prepared for. Perhaps because you still have the feelings from an old connection still there. But remember ah, something weird about the universe, man. When they always, like when you feel like you're not ready, is when you are ready. And I feel like that's the situation right now. You are more ready than you really you, than you realize because you are emanating so much love. You're just projecting so much of this love that this love is going to attract someone into your life if it hasn't already. Now, the sun is showing that there is the potential for happiness and that there's literally nothing standing in your way from, from getting to your goals, right? It illuminates all the objectives. I mean, all the, the objective illuminates the path ahead, illuminates all the, the obstacles, you know, the things that stand in your way, but not necessarily in your way, but those are lessons that will help you to improve your life later on down the line that you may not realize in the moment when you're going through those obstacles. You think, this is the most annoying piece of crap I've ever gone through, but once you're done with it and you pass through you're like damn i learned a really good gift and i know you guys understand that i don't need to explain it to you but this is what is up right right you just see that you know that this is you know there's there's some exposure there's exposure towards happiness or of something uh, a revelation of some sort regarding your love life and it's going to take you to actually do what needs to be done to get there and that's why the king of the queen of wands is in your goal and ambition. Some of you guys may have to just do it, take action, be the person that takes action and goes for it. Now, the queen of wands may be that you know your goal and ambition is to be independent, you know, stay, you know, do your own thing, still be single, do your own, you know, hey, you know, just chill out, just do what you enjoy, you know, go with what you feel passionate about, and you will be. I feel like this relationship here is going to find, you know, is going to bring up that fire, that passion, that's, you know, that, 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 you know, arousal in you that, you know, that the sexiness that, you know, that you get from someone else, right? You could sense and learn other, you know, other, you know, other passions about people, especially interpersonal relationships. I feel like this is going to bring out an aspect of you, that raw animalistic side of you that you may have known about, but never actually truly explored. Some of you have already explored all this and you're like, you just, you know, discard what I just said there. But some of you guys, 
this is for you to actually go down that road and really just tap into that because this animalistic energy is one hell of a creative one. I feel like this person is going to be your ideal perfin person, right? I feel like this person is your, your ideal individual, right? Your ideal lover. But I also get this feeling that this is going to bring out a very creative, romantic energy from you that you may have let dormant for a while. Right? Maybe it was just dormant for a second. But I feel like being involved with people, having fun with people, enjoying people, that's what's bringing this energy up. You know, especially memories and synchronicities of an old past. Because to me, the, the magician reminds... It, it's, you know, it's something about synchronicities with the magician. Because it's like all the symbols and the signs, everything's ready to go. So... That being said, you guys have the outcome being the Knight of Cups. Somebody in here is coming in with a cup of love, either to offer this to you or you going to offer someone else a cup of love. And I think you're going to do it despite the feeling of being unprepared. Some of you guys are going to be running it towards this thing like, you know, like a new adventure, a new journey, something exciting, let's do it. Some of you guys are a little more hesitant with it. But somebody, either someone's coming in to offer you a cup of love or you're going to be the one offering someone a cup of love. You know, somebody's very focused on what it is that they want. Focused on how they feel. And I feel like you're going to be the person that's going to be focused on how they feel by the time somebody comes in to offer you something that they want and focused on what they feel about you. Because somebody sees you guys, okay? The, the the Six of Wands is that, right? Six of Wands. Look at that. Six of Wands. Somebody sees you, man. Somebody sees you. The sun is coming up. Someone notices you. You're in the limelight. Or somebody sees you. Somebody notices you. The King of Swords is looking at you from afar. He sees his partner from the other side. He's like, my love, my darling. And it doesn't have to be a he. It could be a she, guys. And this could be a he. But the thing is that this person is on the external energy. So they're in your vicinity. They're just not in your face at this moment. Yet. Not yet. Some of you guys, this person is in your life. Like right there, right now. But there, somebody may be quiet about their emotions too. Maybe they're not being open about them. Maybe they're not being expressive about them. Loving yourself is so important. And I think that's what this card is. You know, this card is basically saying that you have to protect yourself like it's your own house. Like, you are your house. You you know, would you let somebody, just anybody walk up in there and treat your house like it's something that's not worth respecting? Absolutely not. And for some of you guys, you really have to treat yourself with love and consideration more than you consider anyone else. So really looking out for yourself is a really big thing versus allowing anybody to just treat you any kind of way. But I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think that, you know, no place like home is really talking about, you know, you are going to only be the, you're going to be the only person in the world that truly loves you the way you do. Right? No one can really truly connect in that same way that you can, but that doesn't mean that someone can't love your house the same way you love your house. Or at least, no, it is. Excuse me. It doesn't mean that someone else can't love your house the way they love their love your house, right? Their own way, their own special, unique way of loving you. And I'm not saying to accept people's abuse or anything like that. Be honest with yourself, right? If somebody's doing X, Y, and Z, they have got insecurities they need to fix. But the situation is this: it's like no place like home is talking about loving and protecting the home um, and being secure in yourself. And I don't think you. So a lot of you guys don't have a problem with this. So a lot of you guys do have insecurities about yourself and things like that. If you're not, you know, remembering a time of love, perhaps because you don't think that there's a possibility for there to be one, but you have manifested love coming in. So it's only a matter of time now. And you have deception. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. And I'm thinking it's the person that's looking from far away and not saying anything. Because the King of Cups, he's good. He's emotionally open. I mean, he communicates very well. And the situation is that you're moving on and moving forward. But the magician was crossing this. And the magician is also known for communication. Okay? So, somebody saying something, they're just looking from afar. But I feel like this person's prepared. They're getting ready. Right? It's not, not going to be very long before the King of Cups decides to get up from his chair and hands you his cup and says, Hey, I've been thinking about you. He or she. Alright? 
But deception, I don't think someone is purposely lying to you. Maybe this is someone you already know. Maybe because usually the Knight of Cups is someone that you know. So this is a friend that wants more. Friends with ben you know, friends with benefits. Friends that for friend that wants more, the friend that desires a stronger connection. This could be a water sign that's in your vicinity right now. But this could also indicate that you know this is someone either brand new that you remind you of the past. There's a lot of different things that can come up with this. But the purpose of this whole thing is to say I feel like the reason why deception is coming up is that there's something that's you know that's there's something else going on beyond the seams, all right, beyond the surface, and there's going to be exposure as to what the hell is going on. Right now, you got a lot of reminders, a lot of looking back at the past, because I think something's preparing you for what's to come. Because whenever this is, whenever this thing is, is is exposed, you'll know exactly what to do with it. So right now, uh, Aquarius, you're getting hit with synchronicities, reminders, you know, your exes is coming back, and things like that. Things are preparing you for whatever this is about to expose, because this person is sitting here waiting for you to be ready. So it's like, get yourself right first, right? And it's almost like saying, get yourself right. You know, it's time to move on. Even if you don't feel like you're ready, you are. You have confidence in yourself and take the steps to leave behind the old. So that way you can be ready to see what's, in, what's coming your way. And I know you've been being, you know, you probably hear in a lot of readings. Oh my God, somebody's coming in. Somebody's coming in. You're like, yeah, okay, this is BS. But this is, a, I'm saying this from my heart. If you guys are not taking care of whatever this, wherever this baggage is, this past stuff is, whether this is like soulmate connection or twin flight, whatever, you have to make peace with whatever this past is. So what, what you, whatever you're traveling to, you can see what exactly is going on. But it takes confidence. And I think you have to have the confidence and the courage and the strength to be able to go through these synchronicities to understand what you need to know so you can maximize the ability to be the King of Cups yourself to embrace this person that's hiding. Or not hiding, but just not in plain sight at this moment. Crazy reading, family, but I, I'm pretty doggone stoked. Let me know how you guys have been doing for the last couple of weeks beforehand with the soulmate investigation reading. 